Hi, I'm Andrew Potochnik. Welcome to the One Minute Wood Turner. The skew can be one of the most frustrating tools to learn how to use, but once you've come to grips with the tool, it is a very versatile tool to use. The first thing you have to do is to change the position of your tool rest. It needs to be above centre, which is the opposite to what you normally do. So make sure you raise it up. The first of the cuts that I'll show you is a planing cut, where you lay the tool flat onto the wood and you just slide it along and you're virtually doing the same as a plane would do on a piece of wood. The second thing you can do is cutting V grooves, either for details or for creating a nice clean break between forms. But for cutting V grooves, the tools used differently, you roll it over so that the long point is cutting into the wood. So you're using the, that point, not the short point, nor the part in between. The third use is you can use it to cut the end grain of your pieces of wood so that they become really, really smooth. So you're just planing and severing those fibers off. And again, you're using the long point. And the fourth use that I find them really useful for is using it as a peeling tool when you want to cut a tenon. So you cut the shoulder down with a parting tool and then you reduce the tenon itself using the tool laying flat on your tool rest and just peeling it away. So this has just been a case of explaining four different ways that I use a skew on spindle work. As for bowl work or faceplate work, that's another matter. If you want more information, click on the links below and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.